maybe. And I can't see you right now. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off. Halloween candy. Because when you're an adult, you, you kind of have to bite yourself. Uh, I kind of miss that sort of like getting like a mystery bag of goodies from the neighborhood. You know, after you waited hours for your parents to check it all. And you finally get down to it and you really don't know, like, especially when you first started, you really don't know what you're going to get in this bag. It's just random strangers, trusting random strangers with your taste buds. So I'm doing kind of the same thing today for our Halloween goodies here in our cauldron stuff. Alright, well, I guess we'll get into it. It's a bunch of weird stuff. The first thing I'm going to pull up here is these jelly slugs. So I went around to, like, a bunch of different places. Uh, like around the mall, candy shops and stuff, and try and find like the more interesting candies to see if there's any like really weird shit out there. So first thing I found was these. You know, like that scene in um, uh, Chamber of Secrets where Ron Weasley vomits slugs for like two hours. It straight up smells like uh, like bubble gum. Why do they smell like bubble gum? I'm hoping it's like a lemon. What does it say this is? It's banana. Great. Not terrible. Texture is weird though. They're like, can you see they're like, they're kind of hard. Like there's no give, you know, like gummies are usually like squishy. There's, there's no squish to these slugs. I like my squ slugs squishy. Let's see, what other Harry Potter nonsense do I have in here? Oh, chocolate frogs! Chocolate frogs. Um, I was a little disappointed when I found these because they didn't have, like, the cool, like, case. But I do hope it does come with a wizarding card because, you know, that's the whole thing. So we got our little chocolate froggy. It looks like it's got, like, a Rice Krispies bottom. Holy oh, shit! It jumps! It's jumping around! I got Dumbledore! And it's, oh, it's actually like, there's like a 3D effect. Can you see that? This 3D effect. Oh, that's pretty cool. And at least it did come with a card. Because, you know, you, nobody actually cares about the cards You gotta, you gotta get it for those training cards, man. Chocolate, alright. It's really sweet milk chocolate. Kind of like, um, the bunnies you get on Easter. Next thing. Uh, I think I have some... Ah, oh, there it is. To end the Harry Potter section. Bunny Bots Ever Flavor Beans. Uh, when I was, I think it was like my 13th or 14th birthday, we went and saw Chamber of Secrets and we stopped at a gas station. And the gas station was selling uh, Bunny Bots Ever Flavor Beans. And I think we had more fun grossing each other out than actually eating them. Um, I think a lot of them just got like thrown in each other for the most part. We went, we were like in the car driving back from the movie, so we were like really hyped up on the Potter. It has a code on the back. It tells you what they are. You're not supposed to know. You're supposed to guess. So I'm just gonna pick one at random. Uh, I've got a green one. I kind of hope it's booger. Like, I guess I'm a weirdo, but whenever I eat these, I'm always hoping to get one of the gross ones, because that's part of the fun. Otherwise, you just you just eat jelly beans. Just eat jelly beans if that's what you want. I want to be grossed out. Oh, it's grass. But it tastes, it just tastes normal. Okay, apparently I like the taste of grass, because that was actually pretty good. This one looks like vomit. We'll go with this one. This will be our last bean. We want to save some to gross Josh out with later. Oh, and by the way, like I'm not wasting any of this. It's not getting thrown out. I have, I have Ziploc baggies. I'm gonna put them in. As a matter of fact, I might mix uh, some of the fruitier ones all together, and I'll show you that concoction at the end. Looks a little bit like vomit. I'm gonna try and eat that. Oh. I went for one that was purposefully weird 
And I grabbed Tutti Fruity. All right, I'm gonna purposely look for a gross one now. Um, this looks like dirt. And this looks like sausage. Last couple, I'm sorry, I have, I have a problem. This one I think was dirt. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Mm hmm That's dirt. Okay. And then what were you? You were you were sausage. I haven't had breakfast yet, so that's appropriate. Let's see. Actually has like a smoky flavor. It, it actually tastes like a really good sausage, so. Oh no, nope, now it's gross. Okay. Gotta cleanse my palate. We don't use it to cleanse my palate. Uh there you go. Dinosaur egg. More chocolate will cleanse my palate. We'll do that. So this says it's a chocolate dinosaur egg, and then there's like a gummy dinosaur on the inside. And gummies are my favorite. So we're gonna try and find the gummy dinosaur. Like if it's all chocolate around it, how can you tell which dinosaur you got? It's just a gooey gummy center. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what that is through. Call it a gummy dinosaur. Oh, well, I put its head off. It looks like where the dinosaur is. But I don't know what kind of dinosaur it is. Once again, it tastes like Easter candy. Like, it's really sweet milk chocolate. I think I'm good on that. Moving on. These. These were actually recommended to me by, um... The lady I bought them from, I just asked her, you know, what kind of weird candy, and she went and she grabbed these immediately. So, zombie brains, appropriate for Halloween. So, I'm excited. Let's see. This looks like it would be like really cool for like uh, movie theater candy, like around the time when a bunch of horror movies come out, which surprisingly enough isn't around Halloween. It's usually around. Oh, they're individually wrapped. That's adorable. Um, it's not usually around Halloween, it's usually around like January after all the Oscar contenders have gone and uh, there's like dead air and unfortunately a lot of horror movies are set out to be dead air. Uh, this year looks more promising though with like Suspiria and then Mike Myers and then even Predator as stupid as it looks and sounds. So it looks like you get like little brains, little squishy brains and you get eyeballs. Uh, they both look like they have red 40 in it, which I'm allergic to, but I'm not super allergic to it, so I can just take a Benadryl later, but we'll see. We'll see if I have a better reaction. If in the next video I look a little puffy, it's, it's because of this. Uh, it. I would eat an entire pack of that. That, that was good. It's, they're sweet, but they're not too sweet. They have a good gummy texture. Like as you can see, it's actually squishy. So it's not like the, the jelly slugs where they were just like not squishy. They were actually quite tough and gross in texture. Okay, some brains. Um, it was really good. They don't taste like, like a particular fruit or anything. They just kind of taste sweet. They taste like sugar. Oh, it's good. Cool, the best part, they came individually packaged, so they're actually really good for hanging out for trick or treaters. Uh, zombie hand, continuing with the theme, a gummy zombie hand, and it looks like it's made by the same people. It says it's a lollipop. So let's see. Open them up. Open them up. Don't want me to get in there, do you? Hang on. Okay, I gotta go full zombie mode. Pardon, pardon for what you're about to say. Oh, it's cute! Look! Look, look, look! Look, 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 look. High five. This actually smells sort of citrusy. I almost don't want to eat it because it's really pretty, kind of, kind of cool looking. Let's see. Um, mm, mm. 
it tastes like ecto cooler. This is really good. I might actually just eat this right now. I shouldn't because I got a shit ton more candy to try, but. Alright, so before I get to like the nastiest thing I have in here, I'm gonna try these. Um, there's some palette cleansers to sort of prepare me for what I have left, which is a surprise. It's something I despise, but we'll see. Um, we have Skittles, which is my uh, second favorite candy next to gummy bears. And uh, they have some two interesting flavors. I'm gonna be trying the bright sides, and I'm also gonna be trying the whoop, sweet heat, which is pretty early. I'm looking forward to that. Bright side. Um, it looks like there's like a lot of like kiwi banana and tangerine and paradise punch and watermelon. It looks like a lot of like tropical flavors in these. Uh, I'm gonna try the kiwi first because I freaking love kiwi. The banana is way more overpowering than the kiwi, unfortunately. I wish there was more kiwi there. That's still pretty good. Oh, I'm just gonna try watermelon. Nice green watermelon. Yeah, it's like your basic like tropical flavors. Right. Sweet heat. These are supposed to be uh, sweet flavors that have a little bit of a kick to them. I'm looking at the flavors here on the back. Uh, there's a fiery watermelon. Ooh. What else? Fiery watermelon. Uh, flame and orange. A sizzling strawberry. A lemon spark. And. Blaze and mango. Ooh. I think this one is the flame and orange, so let's see. So far, just orange. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I mean, it's not like the chips, but it's still. There's still a little bit of kick there. Oh, another flame and orange. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna mix these with the uh, brights and maybe shove them in Josh's face later and have him try them out. Mm, what else can I try? I wanna try the lemon spark, that looks good. All right, so it's the same heat tones after you eat them. This is the exact same thing. Um, so it's actually kind of hard to taste the second flavor because it's the same like heat note. So I guess you just like, eat these by the fistful, you'll have a little bit of a tingle in your mouth. That's it, but they're totally edible. Like, they're not inedible. I like these. Uh, I will eat more of those later. This is the part I've been kind of dreading. We're now to the sour candy, which is my least favorite candy. I hate sour, which sounds weird because I love citrus. I hate sour. I hate the intentionally sour foods with the uh, little, like, acid crystals they put in there to make you uh, eat. However, I saw these and I had to add them because they were so weird. First one is a toilet. It's got lollipop plungers. And I'm guessing the sour candy's in here and then you like lick the lollipop, plunge it in, get that clog out of there and then lick it up. Oh boy. All right, All right we're starting with the lollipop. So let's open up one of these plungers. I'm glad it came with two. So I can flick this on Josh later. Let's see. Oh, it's really sticking. The candy's really sticking to the paper. Okay, there we go. So here's the plunger. It's blue. I'm hoping it's sweet. So I can avoid for at least a little bit longer uh, the sour. Let's see. Mmm. I thought, I don't know, it just tastes like the color blue, like sweet blue. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else, but it tastes like blue. Hello, my YouTube career down there? Let's see, there you go, nice, good, even coating. Let's try it. It's not too bad, it's just a little bit. It is really hard oh, fuck. to get 
the crystals off. They seem to like to stick there, which I guess is good for the, the toy aspect. And I do really love the design. Like, if this was, like, extra sugar in here, I would totally be down for that, like, pixie stick filling on the inside. That would really... My inner fat kid would fucking love that. However, considering I don't really like sour candy, these are pretty good. I dig it. Alright, moving on. The piece de resistance of the piece. I think I've been dreading since the beginning of this video because I have heard horror stories. I've seen the videos on YouTube of people like gagging on this, but. And I got the uh, the new mystery flavor, so God only knows what's in here. And it's supposed to be really, really sour. Are you gonna open it for me? Yeah, because it doesn't open, I mean, that's not my fault. I couldn't try it. The package just didn't open. Just pop this baby open. Oh, so it's not like a tub. There's little pieces in here. Oh, they're tiny too, look at that. I was kind of thinking it was going to be like a gooey, sort of like liquid sour thing that I was going to have to like lick out of the barrel. But this is cool too. Where's the mystery flavor? I want to see the mystery flavor. Black cherry, blue raspberry, blue raspberry. <gasps> there it is. That looks like yes. This is the mystery flavor. Let's see if I can guess what the super fucking sour mystery flavor is. I bet it's sour. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be sour. All right, so we got this red sour candy. I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Whatever, let's just do this. Fucking immediately sour. Why does it burn? I actually, holy fuck. Nope. 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 Uh, <laughs> the mystery flavor has to be bile, because that's how bad that is. <laughs> I'm going back for this. Let's fuck that. Fuck that. I will eat out of this toilet all day. <laughs> okay. So, you know when you have the flu, and you're just like... The vomit is coming up and it's hot and it's fresh and it just like sticks in your throat and it's actually a burning sensation all the way down. That's what that feels like. That is that is too much, dude. How can anybody enjoy that? Although I probably should try the other flavors. Maybe it's just the mystery flavor that's utter garbage. Let's try blueberry. Nope. Oh. I'm trying to taste it a little bit longer to see if there's a difference. Nope, still tastes like bile. It still sits in your mouth like stomach acid. Where the fuck is it? Alright, well. Well, that was another dumb idea I had about a video where let's just try some candy. I'm not sure how well this worked out. I don't know how funny it was, but on the bright side, I had an excuse to buy a bunch of candy and eat it, enjoy it, most of it, maybe. And I did find a sour candy I liked down in the toilet. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh wait, yeah, let me uh, show you my uh, concophony. Uh, let's, let's actually join these together into a bag and see what they look like all together. Here you go. Nice mixed bag of Halloween candies for your enjoyment, for my enjoyment, for the internet's enjoyment. Thanks for watching, thanks for going through this with me. And uh, I know I've been a little dormant here lately. That was due to some personal stuff I was going through. And now we're through to the other side and I have a little bit more time to work on things. So I have things planned for the future and there will be more videos of different things. Whatever the hell I feel like. Because that's, that's what this channel is. It's whatever the hell I feel like doing. So have a good night or day or whenever you're watching this. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. 
and uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye!